Hi everyone, today we're talking about employee rewards and recognition. More specifically, five different ways you can reward and recognize your employees. And if you stick around till the end of this video, I might even show you a great way to build an employee rewards and recognition program, even when you're remote. But before we get to the what and the how, let's talk about the why real quick. Why do employee rewards matter? I mean, isn't the job its own reward? No, it's not. Look, the sheer number of employees who go beyond their job descriptions every single day is beyond counting. And according to a study by Live Career, 85% of employees believe they work more than what is officially necessary for their role. Even if we look past the data, just think back to all those moments of unsung everyday heroism that you witnessed in the workplace. You know who I'm talking about, that one person who keeps showing up to work every single day with a bright smile on their face, keeping everyone's spirits high. Or that one dude from marketing who will record a take on a YouTube video 900 separate times just to make sure he gets it right. Heroes. We live at an age where everyone is expected to go beyond their job descriptions and work at the highest possible level. Well, being appreciated and recognized for that hard work is what drives that commitment. And the correlation between employee engagement and productivity can't be denied. So without further ado, let's get to the list. We're going to start things off with perhaps one of the easiest, yet also one of the most effective ways of employee recognition out there, celebrating your employees publicly. Whether you're giving them shout outs on company social media or sending recognition badges through common channels or simply pointing to someone in a meeting in front of everyone and saying, you, you're incredible. Public recognition carries a lot of power. When you're celebrating success publicly, you're achieving a bunch of different things at the same time. First off, you're making your employee feel like a rock star, even if it is at the smallest of scales. But secondly, and perhaps more importantly for you, recognition helps re-encourage behaviors you want to see in your employees. And when you do that publicly, you're doing it at a larger scale. And to be frank, it is literally the least you can do. So start doing it right away. Number two on our list, getaways and retreats. Now this is a great idea for rewards for a team or an individual. You can simply send an employee off on an all expenses paid vacation because they've been killing it. Or you can take an entire team to a creative retreat where they can do a lot of brainstorming, a little bit of work, but mostly just decompress, get to know each other and have a good time. Regardless of how you approach retreats and getaways, the benefits are right there to be seen. They are perfect opportunities for team building and a great way to hit the reset button. And if you want to be really democratic about it, you can actually conduct surveys and ask your team where they want to go on a company retreat and arrange something accordingly. Because why not? Number three on our list is another really simple one that I happen to like very much. Gift cards to local establishments. Now, obviously, these will vary according to where your employees are. But still, they are much better than any Starbucks or Netflix gift card. Starbucks gift cards are a dime a dozen. You can run into a Starbucks gift card accidentally. But do you know what shows you actually pay attention? Knowing where your employees hang out after work or simply knowing where they like to go out for lunch. Whether these establishments are cute cafes, bookstores, pubs, restaurants, what have you, it only takes a moment to get to know them. And when you start to build rewards around these places, you're building a community around your workplace as well. And right here is where I want to add, it doesn't have to be establishments or gift cards. Whenever your rewards or recognition are personalized to your employees' tastes and personalities, they are much more powerful. Before we get to entries four and five, since we're past the halfway point, I have a surprise for you. I'm not gonna wait till the end of the video to show you just how you can implement rewards and recognition in your workplace. We're gonna do it now. To do that, we're going to take advantage of the best recognition software in the Microsoft Teams and Outlook ecosystems, TeamFlect. With TeamFlect, you can send out customizable recognition badges to your employees from inside Microsoft Teams chat and Outlook, integrating this culture of appreciation into your daily flow of work. You can also assign points to each recognition badge, and your employees can exchange those points for rewards in a customizable rewards catalog that you can create, once again, inside Microsoft Teams and Outlook. That's it, that's how easy it is. And not only do you have complete control over your rewards and recognition program, but it is also very easy to use and always accessible right at your fingertips. 
And the best part is you can try this now for absolutely free because TeamFlect is free with full functionality for up to 10 users with no time limits. So go ahead, click the link in the description to try TeamFlect for free today. Now let's get back to our list. Number four, investing in training programs of their choice. Now, one of the best rewards you can give to your employees is to invest in their careers and future and long-term growth. And it goes without saying that this is a two-way street. Your employees developing professionally helps your organization too. But don't get me wrong, these don't always have to be corporate professional trainings. Maybe someone in your team always wanted to learn how to cook properly or take guitar lessons or surfing lessons or anything else. The possibilities here are limitless because there are some incredible training programs out there. The important thing is, once again, knowing your employees, knowing what they want to learn and knowing what they will have fun learning. Because if they're not going to have fun, then it's not much of a reward, is it? Last but not least, the rewards you offer don't always have to be groundworking. Sometimes you can simply double down on some of the benefits you're already offering. These can include additional time off, flexible working arrangements, or the freedom for the employees to choose their own projects. You can simply conduct a survey and understand which benefits your team is enjoying the most and then double down on them as a reward. But that about wraps it up for this video. What did you think? What did I miss? What are some of your favorite employee rewards ideas? Let me know in the comments and we'll start a discussion right away. Guys, we release helpful content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And if you want to try TeamFlect for free or schedule a demo and start implementing rewards and recognition in your organization inside Microsoft Teams, you can always click the link in the description. Bye-bye.